All right, so I just wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind for a couple months now. It started with a video that Elena43 made in response to looking for an answer, uh, her video, Five Questions About God. And I watched her video and commented, and I had said that I believe in God, I no longer believe in religion, but when I look at the world, and I look at the at the universe outside, I cannot I cannot fathom that not being created. Because why so much beauty? Why so much beauty and complexity if it's all just some kind of happy accident? And then that got me thinking, well, Maybe, maybe that is why so many people have believed in God over the years. Because we can't bend our mind around it not being created. I, I, I find it more miraculous for it to be all some kind of happy accident. Because... Well, well, like like a painting, like like you take an empty canvas, and you throw some paint at it, and you, you may get something that's interesting to look at, but you're not going to get a complex painting. You're not going to get mountains and trees and flowers and the sun, moon, and stars, and other planets, and people, and animals, and insects, and bacteria, and germs, and you're, you're not going to get that without using a paintbrush. It has to be created. And you can't just throw paint at a canvas and and have that creation. And but again, maybe that maybe it it's it's the easy answer. God is the easy answer because we can't grasp it not being created. And God, I mean, we we didn't create it ourselves. We didn't humans didn't create the planet. It has to be something greater than us. And since we can't really see something greater than us, it's God. And God's wherever God hangs out. And I, I don't know. It, this, is, this has just been what's, what's on my mind lately. And... And I do believe in God. I, I'm sorry to my, my atheist friends, but I do. And, but I don't begrudge anybody their own beliefs. That's the thing. I think everybody should be able to believe what they believe. Uh, it, it drives me nuts when... Because there are so many people out there, especially... I don't know. I can't say especially believers because you know believers in God or Jesus or Buddha or whatever because atheists do this too it's like you will believe what I believe and the reason why they do that is because if the people around them do not believe exactly as they do that leaves a possibility that they could be wrong and they that scares the shit out of them. And I I'm I'm open to the idea of being wrong <laughs> because none of us know for sure. Nobody on this planet knows why 
why we're here. Why are, why are we so complex? Why do we have different colored eyes and speak different languages and have different colored skin and have emotions and uh, and intelligence and why there are flowers and beauty and music and and art and why are, are the planets so beautiful and why is why is everything just so beautiful why sunsets why sunrises why why none of us know the answer that's what's so great and for people that think that they do know the answer and, and want to shove their own answer down other people's throat, I think that's just bullshit. And it, I think those people have just got to let go and, and accept that none of us know the answer. And that we, we all have our own ideas, but none of it's fact none of it is fact for as many people as there are on the planet that's how many different ideas there are about why we're here and what it all means and what happens to us when we die that's how many different answers there are none of it's fact and and none of us are, are gonna know until we actually do die and and even then, will we know? Will we know? Is it, is our do we just cease to exist? Do we go to heaven? Do we go somewhere else? None of us know. So. So there we have it. I. <laughs> that's what's been going on in my head. That is the inner workings of Rachel's brain. So, thank you for letting me share that, and I'm out.